It always grounds me to realise that we can only amplify our strengths, heal, grow and thrive by doing the simplest of things, connecting with one another and then lifting the other up. Hiwaka e kenoa. We are all in the same boat, after all. There have been some real New Zealand diversity highlights this year. The two main parties in New Zealand's election were led by two very strong, capable women. One, I think, actually, is here. Nania Mahuta has been appointed Foreign Affairs Minister, first woman and first Māori woman to hold this position. Also one of the global diversity highlights for me this year has been the appointment of Kamala Harris as the first woman Vice President of the United States. I loved her simple message when she was elected. To the children of our country, regardless of your gender, our country has sent you a clear message. Dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see yourselves in a way that others may not, simply because they have never seen it before. But tonight, we are here to recognise and celebrate nine amazing women for their outstanding contribution to Global Woman. Thank you for having the vision and for the amazing work you do through the carefully nurtured fabric that holds Global Woman together. You have all been transformative in the ways that you have championed diversity and inclusion and been instrumental in laying our foundation to build a more diverse and inclusive Aotearoa New Zealand. So on behalf of the Global Woman Board, I'm honoured to present you with our inaugural Honorary Life Membership Award. I wish you the best for Christmas season and as you farewell 2020, I hope you'll feel invigorated and inspired. You can shape the future. This organisation being beside you can help you shape that future and I want you to be brave and determined as you do so. Thank you for the honour you confer on us. Success, I suspect, for us all will be what you do next. Thank you very much.